What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Coach Joe here with Heartletics.com. Today's episode, we're going to be talking all about being obsessed with the process, not the goal. Now, this is very, very important. And hands down, I'm making this episode simply as a reminder for anybody that's brand new into our coaching program. Now, even if you're not in our coaching program, and let's say you're listening to this episode, trust me, you're going to get a lot of value from it. Because at the end of the day, I understand you want to reach your goals, right? But sometimes when we become obsessed with our goals, whether it's your health and fitness journey, whether it's career goals, whether it's wealth goals, whatever the case may be, when something becomes an obsession and too much of a priority, right? Where it's like on a pedestal, it can become very hard, right? To reach those goals. So instead, I always like saying like this, be obsessed, right? With the process, the process of you achieving your goals. And we're going to be talking all about that. So remember, this is mainly for the new clients. All right. This is a reminder to you guys, a friendly reminder that, hey, guess what? Coach Jimmy, who lost over 120 pounds, he was in your shoes. Coach Mark, who lost over 90 pounds, he was in your shoes. Coach Brian, who lost over 80 pounds, he was in your shoes. Everybody has been in your shoes. Okay. We understand what it's like. Maybe in the very beginning, you're on this high, you're on this kick, you're feeling amped up because you know we have such an amazing community group inside of the app and you're ready to go, or you're ready to kick butt. But with that being said, even though we're on our journey, our path to achieve our goals, we need to learn how to not be obsessed with it. And for anybody that's listening to this, hear me out. It's great to have goals, okay? It, it, that's what's going to make sure that you're in alignment. You know, your daily actions, your daily habits, if it's in alignment with your goals, hey, you're going to achieve your goals. That's why I think like it's so easy for guys to have success inside of our coaching program at Heartletics because we just make sure that their daily habits are in alignment with their goals, like their health and fitness goals. That's why a lot of guys that you hear about like see such amazing results like Mike, you know, Barry, who got off all of his medications and reversed his type 2 diabetes in just seven weeks of coaching. How did he do that? Well, he was in alignment right? His daily habits were in alignment with his goals of getting off his medication. So what is one secret, all right, to really help you understand this? It's to understand it like this, okay? Your daily habits, this is what you should be focused on and, and, and really hone in deep on. That's all. Your daily habits, not your goals. It's great to have goals. Everybody has them. I have goals, right? I have wealth goals, I have career goals, I have health goals, I have family goals, I have so many different goals. But this used to be me, right, big time. And this is why I'm sharing this with the clients that's listening that's brand new, because I want you guys to have success. And remember, even if you're not a coaching client of Heartletics, you're still going to get so much value from what I'm about to say, okay? Every time I had a goal, and I was obsessed with it, right, like it was like, I wanted it so bad. Anytime I did something, I'm only human, right? I make I would make mistakes. So let's say I wanted to get to, let's say, 8% body fat and be completely shredded, be completely ripped, you know, and I have this huge goal. And let's say at that time, I don't know, I'm like 20% body fat, right? So it's like, it's, it's pretty far out there. Well, if I'm obsessed with that goal, and that's all I really care about is the goal, and I'm not really in too much of a, you know, mapping things out and having it planned out in my day-to-day -day operations. I just know my goal is, hey, I want to get to 8% body fat. Well, it's very easy if, let's say, I go out to eat, right? Once again, I'm only human. And let's say I indulge on some food that I shouldn't have, right? Happens literally all the time, right? On a weekly basis almost, okay? And let's say if I'm too obsessed with the goals, well, the next morning when I wake up and I look myself in the mirror, I might, you know, start to feel guilt, about the foods that I consumed the night before. Because I'm so obsessed with those goals, right? That it's like, man, like I'm even farther back now. And then it becomes this risk it for the biscuit, like, okay, well, you know, I overdid it yesterday on the calories, so I'll not eat anything today. And, you know, I'll just do a whole bunch of cardio, try to burn it off, right? And then it becomes this unhealthy relationship with food, this unhealthy relationship with fitness. And I'm sure, right? that somebody that's listening to this episode can relate to me on that aspect. Because that happened to me all the time. 
I want to share with you guys what I personally like to do. And if you're a client, trust me, this is going to help you out tremendously. Okay. You have your goals. I have your goals for you, right? But at the end of the day, I'm not obsessed with them and neither should you be. What you should be obsessed with is the process, okay? And what is the process? Your daily operations, right? Your daily non-negotiables, your habits, your systems, okay? I'll put it to you like this. It makes a lot of sense, okay? Especially when you kind of break things down like this. If let's say, right, I, let's use the analogy of being 20% body fat. I want to get down to 8% body fat. I indulge, I overeat, right? I, I feel like I'm just like guilty and everything like that. Guess what, right? Like that's what we don't want, correct? Okay. So what is it that we do want? Well, when we focus on the day-to-day -day operations, let's say that if I'm focused on my daily habits, all right, the same goals applied, I still went out to eat, I still binge eat, I still overindulged. Well, now I can look at it from just a different perspective saying, okay, Hey, I, I, I messed up on one day. What can I do the next day to get right back on track? Well, hey, you know, Coach Joe always says focus on your protein, focus on your calorie range, right? Focus on your workouts, focus on your, you know, your needs, your hydration, your sleep. So let me just focus on that. That's what Coach Joe always tells me. So, so now I go ahead and do that. And I do that, you know, so forth for the rest of the week. Now it's a lot better to say, okay, hey, this entire week I had one bad day, Okay. And that's a lot easier to say, okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm one bad day. Okay, well, I had six really good days, okay? And you see how that kind of is a little bit differently inside of your brain? Instead of saying like, okay, I, well, I overindulged and I really messed it up big time. Now I feel like I'm backtracked so much. Well, hey, we just had one bad day out of six. It's okay. So like, that's what I mean by don't be obsessed over your goals. It's great to have your goals, but at the end of the day, it's better to have the assumption that you're going to reach your goals no matter what. So just enjoy the process. Have fun. Become obsessed with the process. And what is that process of you daily putting in the habits, right, to help you become the best version of yourself? That's the process, right? Helping you become the best version of yourself. 1% better each and every day. Consistency is key, right? That is the process right there. Become obsessed with that, right? Really, really become obsessed with that. Like, I'm obsessed with that. I love waking up out of bed every morning with just on fire getting ready to change somebody's life today, you know? Whether it's me recording a video or publishing a new podcast episode or doing a Facebook Live or, you know, saying something to one of the coaching members or maybe a, a weekly, you know, uh, Zoom chat that we did and I say something to really help somebody. I love that. Every single day I wake up and my soul's on fire and I'm obsessed with the process that each and every day I'm becoming the best version of myself. And like, here's the thing, you should have the same obsession. Literally, personal development is golden. It is key. Like it is okay. Hear me out. It is okay to be selfish and focus on you. Reward yourself. Buy something for you. Invest into yourself. Prioritize yourself. Like it's okay. Do it because at the end of the day, like, man, it feels really good, really good. And to know that you're in alignment with your health and fitness goals, to know that you're doing all the right things and you have the right mindset, it, it becomes the best process in the world, hands down. Now, if you throw in, right, an amazing community group with hundreds of other guys and dozens of coaches that's going to be helping you out 24-7, holding you accountable, really supporting you on your journey, now it becomes priceless. At the end of the day, guys, when it comes to your goals, do not become obsessed with it, plain and simple. And I highly encourage you that if you are a member, right, and you're brand new into our coaching program, utilize our community groups the most, okay? Honestly, utilize it the most. Ask questions in there, engage, spark up some conversations. The, we'll always say it like this, there'll always be a handful of people that sign up for our coaching program. And they follow through with, let's say, the personalized meal plans, the personalized workouts, and they listen to everything that we have to say on our weekly check-in videos, right? So these are these people over here. And guess what? They lose anywhere from 20 to 50 pounds, right? They feel great, right? They look great. Like they, they achieve amazing results. But you have these people over here that really change and transform their lives, right? That go above and beyond. 
And what do these people have in here in common that separates them from these people over here? Well, it's the fact that one, they're open-minded, right? It's just like how to have success inside of our coaching program. Become like a sponge, just absorb everything and just rinse out what doesn't work for you and your lifestyle. And we'll try to fit it in with something else that can fit in the best. Like that's it. Just be open-minded. Uh, two, the second thing for success is to make sure that you have constant communication with me and the other coaches. Meaning like, tell us the good, the bad, and the ugly. We're not mind readers and we never will be. So it's just like, tell us like, hey, when you're liking things, tell us when you're not liking things. Like we want to know, especially when you're not liking things. Tell us when you're traveling. Tell us when you're feeling sick. Tell us when, you know, you're going out to eat. Send us over the menu for us to scan, right? And then kind of look over and give you that guidance and telling you what to eat when you go out. Like utilize us. That's what, you know, this program is about is having that support, having that, you know, 24-7 support, honestly. And lastly, which is most importantly, and this is number third, um, and that's simply to not just sit on the sidelines, but play in the game. I mean, dive in head first. Like these guys over here, right, they really, really, like I said, dive into the community groups. They, they feel a part of something, you know, that's different than just following through with a, a meal plan and some workouts. They part like it's a family. And that's why it's called the Heartletics family or Heartletics nation. You know, and inside there, we just want to, you know, uh, support everybody on their journey. And if you happen, right, join some of our weekly Zoom chats. It is a lot of fun. You know, you get that personal side of like, hey, this being an online coaching program. So for new members, hear me out. Those are the three key tips to honestly change and transform your life for the better. And if you're somebody that's just tuning in for the first time, right? And maybe you just happen to stumble upon this podcast. Hear me out. What we talked about today was all about goal setting, but the best way to achieve your goals, let's say it's health and fitness. You want to lose 20 pounds. Well, okay. Focus on some daily habits and just focus on those habits. Become obsessed with the process. And maybe that process for you is changing some of your daily habits. So, you know, what we focus on inside of our coaching program at Heartletics and this helps anywhere, you know, guys anywhere from losing, you know, 20 to anywhere, 50 pounds, right? In just 90 days, having more energy, having more confidence. Guys like Mike getting off their, you know, medications. So hear me out. These habits work tremendously well. There's seven of them. The first one is your specific calories for fat loss. The second one, right? The first one's calories. The second one is your specific macronutrients. Mike Berry, who was a type 2 diabetic, has a completely, you know, macronutrient profile than somebody that's not a type 2 diabetic. you got to figure out what's your calories, right, and macros, specifically for you and your body type and goals. Now, the third thing is your resistance training, your strength training, right? Finding something that works best with your lifestyle, with your schedule, and obviously your body type, where you can fit it in and you're training your body properly to, you know, build that lean muscle tissue, have more confidence, have more strength, have more stamina, plain and simple, right? Rebuilding your metabolism right back up. Fourth thing, it's called NEAT, which, you know, uh, NEAT stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis. I'm not a big fan of, you know, running at all and doing cardio. A lot of guys that get signed up for our coaching program, you know, they're anywhere from like 40 to 60 years old. You know, they got bad shoulders, bummed out backs, right? Bad knees. They don't like doing cardio either, you know? So at the end of the day, what we focus on is a step goal, right? So NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis is a simple way to focus on how do we burn body fat without just like working out, you know? It's just focusing on a different form of a habit. Um, number five is your hydration. We focus heavily on trying our best to have it at least a gallon of water a day. Number six and number seven are very important, right? They're the hidden factors, I should say, right? When it comes to fat loss. And then six is your stress. Higher amounts of stress means higher amounts of cortisol. Higher amounts of cortisol in the body means it's very hard and difficult to burn body fat. So you can do different things like meditation, you know, taking different supplements like ashwagandha, you know, maybe just help it out with seven, which is your sleep, your recovery. Getting more sleep might be able to help you release some of that stress. And then we go over tips on how to get more sleep. So like, guys, that's our seven essential fat loss habits for success. It works. Trust me, it does. You just got to learn how to apply it to best fit into your lifestyle with creating these habits. And once you do, you're going to be able to reach your goals. But remember, don't be obsessed with your goals. And if you guys need any help and tips, well, those seven essential fat loss habits, you can simply download the free copy that's at heartletics.com. 
And while you're there, you can, as you're looking through the free copy, you can actually go through the free fat loss video training that we have. It's our free coaching tutorial that literally shares with you, like going into detail about those seven essential fat loss habits. That way you learn, right? It's getting to it to be in your brain where you, then you can apply it. You know, pretty simple. Um, with that being said, guys, just don't be obsessed with your goals. You know, focus on your daily habits. And I promise you, you're going to have success. You're going to reach your goals. That's the inevitable. With that being said, I really hope that you guys got some value from today's episode. If you did, go ahead and share this maybe on your social media, your Facebook page. Um, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Give it a good re uh, review and a good rating. And um, I can't wait to talk to you guys in the next episode. This has been Coach Joe with Heartletics.com. And as always, peace out, Girl Scout.